hey guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while but i am back with a new video and this time i'm going in with a nude nothing new <laughs> um but we're going with brown undertones we're doing a brown cut crease so let's get started okay guys so for this look i am going to start off with my morphe 35m palette using the shade peachy keen which is just a worn tone brown and I'm going to start by placing that with a blending brush into the crease, bringing it towards the inner corner, not all the way down, just towards the contour of the nose and bringing it out uh, towards the end of the eyebrow. Next, I wanted to get the brow bone highlight um, over with, so I'm just going in with the shade Light of the Party from that same palette and placing it on my brow bone. To deepen the crease, I'm going in with the shade Sparks Fly, which is a darker, um, also warm toned brown, and I'm just going to be placing that in the same place as the prior shade, except I'm not bringing it all the way to the innermost part where the nose contour is, and I am fading it out towards the outermost part of the crease. I want you guys to notice that I am going to be keeping the shades up here because I am doing a full cut crease and I don't want to waste any shades bringing them down towards the lid. And to give the crease a little more definition, we are going into the Subculture palette from Anastasia using the shade Fudge and I'm just going in with a small blending brush um, to place that into the outermost part of the crease, um, blending it towards the center and the outermost part. Now I was running out of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, so I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Never used it before, first time, I really like it. And this is in the shade Creamy Beige, and I'm just using that and a small detailing brush to cut my crease. I'm going in from the inner corner of my eye, bringing it up into the crease, and then out towards the outermost part of the eye. To set the concealer that we just placed on the lid, I'm going in with the shade Naked from my Naked Urban Decay palette. And um, this shade is going to be uh, working as a transition shade for the um, shadow wing that we're going to be creating next. the wing I'm going in with a um, flat angled brush I'm going to be going in with the um, two shades they're uh, sparks fly and fudge mixed together I'm going from the outermost part of my eye dragging it towards the end of my brow but not all the way and then um, creating a wing going from the inner corner of my eye over the top lid towards the outermost part Next, I'm going in with the shade Peachy Keen, which is the light brown, warm tone brown uh, shade that we used at first when we were going into the crease. So we're doing the opposite when we're doing the wing. For the crease, we did light to dark shades, and for the wing, we're going from dark to light shades. And for the lower lash line, we're going in to smoke it out. First, we're going in with the shade Peachy Keen, which is the light warm tone brown shade. So basically, we are going in with the same shades that we went into the crease. So first Peachy Keen, then Sparks Fly, and then Fudge from the Subculture palette. 
Now to highlight the inner corner, we're just going in with a little pop of uh, shimmer, not shimmer, but more like uh, reflex, um, and that is with the shade Spark, or actually Light of the Party. <laughs> And for the waterline, we're going in with our Wet n Wild crayon, and this is in the shade Top Taupe of the Morning. And I'm just placing that all over my waterline, running that from the outer to the inner corner. For the lashes, I'm going in with my Batty B lashes. <laughs> These are in the style Batty, of course and I'm just uh, using my duo lash glue to uh, glue them onto my lid. So I did record the lips at first, that's why you saw that I already had the lips done, but I figured I should still add that into the video because I don't know, maybe you guys would want to see it. <laughs> um, so first I'm going in with my uh, NYX lip pencil and that's in the shade brown. Then I will be going in with my soft matte lip cream by NYX as well and that's in the shade London. And we're going to finish it off with some lip gloss and that's uh, Forever 21 High Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Natural. So for this look, I really wanted to keep it like nude, um, but more in the brown tones. I don't know, that's always been my thing. Brown is a very nice color for me. Um, and I wanted it to go with my shirt because I just got this shirt a couple days ago. So yeah. <laughs> And I also wanted to let you guys know that I bought a bunch of LA Girl, well not a bunch, but two different um, LA Girl concealers as well as a neutralizer and I'm testing them out. I didn't do so good this last time, but I'm going to test them out again um, and I'll let you guys know how that goes if you want me to. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and if you didn't, thumbs down of course. <laughs> um, but also leave me a comment letting me know what you think about this look and if you have any other requests or ideas for any looks, please let me know. I'll see you guys in my next video and yeah, <laughs> bye guys.